Hey, I am Daniel Fansan, and I'm glad to show this little production overview of mine from my upcoming single with uh, Nina Sung, which is titled Slipping Within. This track is a track I've worked with for quite a while now. I believe I've worked on it on at least three years. Uh, yeah, so it's... Uh, it's getting old, but finally it's getting released, which I'm really happy about. So I thought about showing you guys the, uh, the main features of this track. Uh, starting with the kicks, moving on to how I mix the sub and every bass element. Uh, then I'll go on to the percussion element. Uh, then some stabs, the leads, some plucks and other fills, as well as the vocal and the pads, stuff from the breakdown, and finally some overview of how I do my FX elements. Uh, just a warning though, I haven't really... I won't be showing you the synth design and, uh, and stuff like that, because this product project is let's see, 121 layers, and it gives my my computer a really bad time to play everything, which is why I froze everything just for this little session. So I can't really go into, say, Massive, because they are all locked, because I froze them all. So let's start with the kick. In this track, I have five kicks, as well as one ride, which I use in the drop of the track. It's one kick, which sounds like this. There's one which is like this, a bit more snappy. And there's three kicks, which I use to fill the upper spectrum of frequencies which I've pretty most removed all the lower frequencies from and everything all together sounds like this like this and as you can see here I've automated the main kick the decay of the main kick. So in the beginning, it's very short and snappy, and you don't really get the whole punch out of it. Yeah, it's frozen now, no. But when I get to the main intro part, it's suddenly getting a bit more heavier and more punchy. And all these five kicks together goes really well with my sub bass, which you can hear now. And the sub bass is basically just a silent bass I designed together with uh, some additional plugins. And together with the bass, I have the stab basses. And these are all they all sound like this. First of all, it's one from Spire. A really weird sounding bass sound, but I really like it. Now we got some more sub action going on. And finally, some upper action, as well as some reverse reverb elements on this one, I think. No. Both of them. <laughs> yeah, apparently. 
So all of these together with the sub bass and kick sound like this. So this is like some like the main theme of the track when it comes to the bass elements. I also have some sequences going on. They are all from Spire as well. And during the build up to the breakdown, I also introduced a few rolling, uplifting bass lines as well as an acid line. So, for starters, there's the rolling elements, some really wide elements, as well as one who gives the track a little bit more action in the low mid area. In addition to these, I have also created this acid line. Which also is automated with a cutoff throughout the build-up. So it sounds very different from here to, say, like here. Okay, that's basically the uh, bass elements. Oh yeah, apparently I also have some 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 toms which I've tuned to fit the track since the key is F. Okay. Moving on to the percussion elements, I have yeah about 25 layers or so of percussion elements. So we can have a look at the intro for starters. I'll have the kick playing as well so you get the rhythm going. First of all, there's a few elements which I have labeled as glitch elements, which sounds like this. Just some weird short elements which I've panned for to the sides, as well as having a few ones in the in the mid, uh, with some fills going on, you get a more precise rhythm. And you can also see here that I also panned these to the left and right as well. Uh, and moving on, here's the main three claps on the track, as well as the reverse claps to make the rhythm stand out a bit more. And also later in the track, I have uh, I have. Uh, Added a clap on top of the kick to give uh, the kick a bit more punch. So, in addition, there's not one, not two, but five different loops, which gives the track more rhythm. There's also a uh, an open hi hat playing on top of the kick. This one is also playing later in the build-up to the drop. In addition, I have also created a snare roll, which sounds like this. Here I've automated the, the high cuts through that of the simpler. So, let's move on from the main introduction uh, at 45 seconds, you can hear 
both a kick and the sub base as well as some stabs. So I'll play these for you. And here's uh, a few stabs, which really gave us this track a bit more character. And these are basically three different stabs from Spire. Which are really wet actually. And one harder stab in between these notes. Which sounds like this. Later on in the build up you'll also hear some different elements. Which sounds like this. Which is basically uh, three layers of different stabs as well as a reverse transitional stab, which is these three stabs bounced down with tons of reverb and then reversed and faded up, and then you'll get this sort of tail. Which sounds very good with tying all the, the parts together. So let's hear how it sounds like with the, all the parts I've explained till now. Alright, let's move on to the leads. In the build-up I have teased one lead, which is a sequenced pattern. Sounds like this. There's also two others joining it in the breakdown. And they all sound like this and they're all playing the same chords. I love to use these uh, these sort of uh, sequences uh, together with the pads because it gives the track a bit more rhythm even though the track ha is in the breakdown. And moving on, there are... the main melody consists of four different layers which all plays the same melody. They are all from Massive. And they all sound like this. A thin, uh, a thin and simple one. A rather distant one. And one square uh, lead with lots of sustain. And one which is basically the Omnia lead, which he used in tracks like The Fusion and whatnot. And this is how they all sound like when they're all when they're all at one hundred percent. Also, in the build-up, I've used two rises, both from Silent, which I have created. They sounds like this. And you can see here that I've pitched both of them one octave up. 
So let's see how the sound, the track sounds like. It's for the time being with all the elements I have described. So let's jump right into the build-up. You really hear the rises separately in the background. It really gives the track a bit more tension. And let's hear the drop with all the melodies and sequences going on. Okay, let's jump to uh, my plucks and other fill elements basically will also just stay here in the build up so let's start with uh, with the synth shot with some delay and i believe this is also reverse a reverse tail goes into the same pluck Some other pl uh, pluck uh, elements. Another layer. Gives it a bit more rhythm. And another layer. And then arpeggiated uh, line. And finally, a sine wave with some distortion and reverb, which I basically label Brutes because it sounds like the main theme from Brutes by Armin and Ferry. In addition, I'm also, I'm also using two other stabs and arpeggiated sequence in the takeoff. Which sounds like this. Let's see. There are a few other saw wave stabs. And one arpeggiated sequence with lots of delay. Okay, let's hear how everything sounds like till, till now. Let's start with the build up. It's starting to sound like the like the track now, but I still have a few elements to show as you see. And let's hear the uh, drop. Okay, let's check the pads now. Start from the breakdown. Uh, I have used four, three different kinds of pads, which sounds like this, as well as a sub, which gives the breakdown a bit more action in the lower frequencies. In addition, I've created these chords with. Uh, a contact library called Alicia's Keys, which I absolutely recommend to everyone. There's also some roads from uh, Omnisphere. Which are pen to the sides. 
And further on in the breakdown, I also have a couple of strings, which is also from Omnisphere. They all have a tremolo effect as well. And finally, there's also a guitar from Omnisphere, an electric guitar. So even though this uh, this is a trance uh, track, I decided to give uh, give the track a bit more natural elements, ranging from guitars to pianos to strings, and finally some roads. Uh, and these all to go together with the sub elements and pad elements. So let's hear how the breakdown sounds like with. other elements. Yeah. So let's move on to the uh, to the vocal which is provided by my uh, my friend uh, Nina Sung from LA. She uh, really uh, did a great job on this one, in my opinion. Let's hear how... This is a processed uh, vocal layer, which uh, Rasnitsen did. I sent him a my vocal parts initially, and he did a few tweaks and compression and whatnot. So uh, let's hear how the vocal fits the the track with all the other elements. Let's check. And finally, let's have a look at the uh, all the <laughs> FX elements, which is about 20, 20 layers here. Yeah. It's all ranging from kicks, downlifters, uplifters, and some other things. It sounds like this. Yeah, just your regular effects elements. I've also created a few on myself to give uh, the track my own personal touch. And these are tonal rises, which all sounds like this. And finally, there are some other elements as well. Some signature snares. Basically, my signature snare, which I use in almost all tracks, these two. And there's also a tonal riser. With the shitload of elements added to it and also 
There's some vocal chops. Which sounds like this. So once again, let's hear the final tracks with basically all elements in it. I played from the uh, from the breakdown. <laughs> Remember the time when we were something special Remember the night when we refused to settle But we don't know, we don't know, we don't know how it's come to this No, we don't know do it for this session I hope you have enjoyed this little uh, this little uh, overview of my track and maybe you'll also learn something uh, and if you have some questions or comments or basically anything you can just contact me at my Facebook page or leave a comment down below here on YouTube I also just registered that the dog has been barking in the background throughout this video, so I hope not the microphone has picked that up. <laughs> if it has, I my condolences. Alright, yeah. Cheers. <laughs>